Or coming right along. Hope you're still watching. Yeah, I think we're done. I'm going to put the rag over it first on the next one so I'm already ready over there. This is here. Got a lot of bees coming back. Looks like our oxalic acid is about burned off. So we're ready to do another one. I think this off. Yeah, there's still a little bit there, but basically done. Take my plunger, stuff it in there. There we go. Look at that. Yep, puffing away. But that one there shows how good it is to smoke them a little bit and get a little space for them. Now, one of these stuff has a rag on it, doesn't it? Yep. So we're all done here. Take those bees off. And I can get ready for the next one. I had to move this out of here from the back door there. I didn't have much room, so I put a bottom board between them so they won't drift so much. If they're doing good there, then about a week. It is really hot and humid. That's probably about 80 degrees, but that's hot to me. But we got to get this done. I want to get it done while they're all in the hive. Do as many mites as I can. Okay, I think we're ready for the next one. Yep. Now you've seen the route batteries, which you can get my walking batteries for these Lorobi Instavac. So consider that when you're what batteries you have when you're buying one of these. I'm not sponsored by either the Roby or by the Walt or my Walkie. So I just want you to know that. I take the rag out now and there's not many at the entrance of this other hive so I'll just put it on. Whew, I think it was the smoke from the smoke that would get me. Yeah, these nuts, they don't fit perfect, but they do save you a lot. That bees are starting to move around a little bit. I did see them bring in some white pollen on this hive right here. Kind of surprising. But mostly in the dirt. Yeah, I think we're done here. So, get some more oxalic acid. I'm using two milligrams I mean, for single deep and four milligrams for double deep. All these are in this yard are double deep, so I don't have to change the adjustment at all. I'm going to move this over here. Over here, take quite a few bees out, so I'm going to put it on here. I still got 18 volts on this thing. They say not to go below 15. It's a 20. AH, 85, 20 volts. One more high. Now if you've got a 3 8 inch bottom board, that's fine. This will still work on it. It's got a little teeth in it to hold it up. I'm using mostly 3 quarter inch, but I do have a few 3 8 inch bottom boards. 
Okay, just over here. Oh, this gear does get kind of hot. Woo! Hot humid this morning. Woo! I got up early this morning, so it wouldn't be too hot in Haven. Woo! But it's still hot in Haven. Got five more hogs to do. Now, I've seen a lot of people demonstrate this without a mask, but you know what? I discovered, I even tried that, you can sure screw up doing that, because it gets in your nose right away, if you just move in the wrong direction. Depends on how the wind's blowing, which way it's going. I'm glad I'm not having to use two jumper cables for that other unit because I'd have to drag them from down there where the camera is and then I'd have to have the cables hook up together here and i got to make a connection here to get all the way up to there and boy, it doesn't always work sometimes the connection doesn't work and you always got to keep the car running to make sure the battery's running and you use up the battery this is a much better way a much more costly way. I think it costs almost seven hundred dollars. Try to get the batteries and the S for that. So the other type that I showed you earlier, let me get it. This one you can probably get for like $125. But then you have to have the battery for your car or carry a battery, maybe a generator. Depends on how many of the hires you have. So how much trouble it's gonna be.